Hi everyone, welcome to Nollywood France channel. I am your host, Janet Emene. And today, we are diving into the funny, heartwarming and sometimes completely ridiculous world of Igbo weddings. Trust me, it's not just about love, it's about diary. And in this story, things are going to get, well, strange. We bring you the hilarious and completely backward journey of Igbo marriage and diary. Episode 1, written and produced by Cyprian Johnson. In the heart of a vibrant Igbo village, Chinedu stood ready to marry the love of his life at Daisy. Everything seemed perfectly arranged. The fine suits, the heartfelt vows, the kiss that would seal their union, and the joyous dancing that would follow. Yet, there was one thing Chinedu had not prepared for. A diary. You know, it is a common notion that it is the groom that is meant to pay the dowry. But in this case, it is different. This time, the world had turned upside down. For in this tale, it was not Chinedu who was to pay the dowry. No, the tables are turned. It was Adeze who had to prove herself worthy to negotiate her way into Chinedu's life. Yes, Chinedu was nervous, but not for the reasons one might expect. A daisy standing before his family had to win their approval. She needed to conv- convince them, his parents, his uncles, and most importantly, the one who held the real power in any African household, his mother. <laughs> Chinedu's mother sat at the head of the room, her expression as hard and unyielding as a stone. She watched a daisy with the keen eyes of a hawk sizing up its prey. Chinedu's father, on the other hand, Declined in his seat, his face relaxed as if waiting patiently for the drama to unfold. And unfold it did. The elders, particularly Chinedu's mother, began the proceedings in the traditional way. So, a daisy, his mother asked, a voice sharp and measured, What are your intentions with our son? Do you believe you deserve him? A daisy's throat went dry and her voice trembled slightly, slightly as she answered, I wish to marry him and make him happy. One of the uncles nodded faintly, as if satisfied with her answer. But she needed his mother. Not yet. A stern face showed no sign of approval. And then the moment came. One of the aunts, with dramatic flair, produced the diary list and unfolded before poor Adesi's eyes. But this was no ordinary list of goats and yam. No, this was a list that bordered on the absurd. It demanded a brown house, furnished to Chinedu's exact tastes. A designer bag, of course, for Chinedu's mother. A whopping 5 million followers on Instagram. A brand new SUV. And to top it off, a cow and 15 pure white coats. Like, as if that were not enough, a daisy was required to pay a staggering sum of 15 million naira to Chinedu's family. And none of this even included the cost of the wedding ceremony or the feast for the village. A daisy's mouth fell open. Was this a diary negotiation or the plot of some bizarre television show? She blinked in disbelief as her eyes darted over the list her mind struggling to grasp its ridiculous demands. How much did you say for the goats again? She asked, trying to maintain some semblance of calm. The entire room burst into laughter, except for... Yes, you guessed it, Chinedu's mother. She sat there, arms folded across her chest, still waiting for Adeze to prove herself. Adeze glanced over at Chinedu, seeking some kind of reassurance. But Chinedu merely shrugged and said, Good luck. What we happen next? Find out in the next episode.